Earth, a place where humans are supposed to coexist with other magnificent species. Well, we are not very much into the cooperation part. In the beginning, none knew about the importance of other animals, but centuries later we understood that they have a significant impact on our existence. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another brand new video of what will happen. In today's video, we are here to discuss what will happen with that animals. Ready to see all of them? Not so fast! Before we begin, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified every time we upload a new video. Ok, now let's begin with the video. What if I tell you that almost 50% of all the vertebrae species vanished in the last 40 years? There used to be a time when you would go out and see at least one butterfly or dig the soil and find earthworms. But now, doesn't this sound so rare to you? I mean, who cares about all of this? But this video will change your perspective as it's going to unfold what will happen with that animals. Have you ever thought of crop cultivation and the impact of worms on it? It is so vital that without worms to oxygenate the soil, the crops wouldn't grow. Without organisms like tiny nematoid worms and mites, the ground would not keep anything intact and is most likely to be blown away, which makes it impossible for cultivation. Natural fertilizers like cow dung will no longer be there, and their excreted seeds after being eaten by a bird are one of the main reasons for most of the greenery the world has to offer. It would be perilous not to have these gardeners to keep in check the greenery of our planet. In other words, humans will die of hunger. One thing for sure is that the Earth will be so much greener with explosive green algae blossoms which would cover the entire planet, land and sea. Consequences caused due to scavenging fungus, which will get filled on the Earth's surface, will begin and this cannot be controlled as there are no animals to uncrop them. Too much of anything is not good, even greenery. Have you ever thought of a world with different types of humans, as in humans that feed on grass, or imagine fungus eating humans, or even big like or rat like humans? Even though, now it sounds so funny, the humor would not work so well when it happens for real. And it could happen if we become the only species to survive a mass extinction that would wipe out every other living organism in the world. In other words, all of the future life forms on Earth will be our descendants. Another way to look at it, instead of a difficult but practical way, is that we could be so superior to the future race. The domination level will be so extreme that there is a possibility of having a cat-like human on our lap while watching videos. We could surround ourselves with animals filled with our images, truly as the way of feeling the Almighty, the ego of being the most superior creature and being on top of the food chain even without being the most decisive predator there is, was always man's most considerable flex. Still, little did they know, without the current practices, there would be no other species to dominate. A world where the only sound is human and the earth-killing industries that man made feel genuinely incomplete. A morning with no birds, or let me tell you, meals without meat. To all those foodies out there, it's going to be a nightmare because all of those succulent meats which make you crave would not be available anymore. And if you are so desperate, the maximum you can do is 3D print them and quench your feelings, lol. Do you guys think you will all make it if such a situation arises? But is there anything positive to this? Surprisingly, yes. One of the main problems that we face now is the extreme emission of carbon dioxide gases. With the non-existence of animals, a vast sum of carbon dioxide emission will be reduced. Gas that sprout forth from farm animals contribute to almost 15% of the total human-caused global CO2 emissions. Who doesn't like the idea of having a pet? It's all cute and refreshing to see those pretty little things run around. But they contribute to global emissions as well. And even though it will strike our feelings, the right thing to do is to stop such practices and the right time to do is now. If we start taking the measures, indeed such ideas from human minds will be wiped away within two generations. Anyways, with the existing trend, I'm pretty sure that the future generations will be more enthralled to get more Pokemon on their phone rather than to spend time with their animals. Can you imagine a day without cheese? All those milk products, woolen clothing or animal leather. Fashion cannot be considered as an issue while we talk about the extinction of our race. But listen, my dear fashion heads, you guys will be so disappointed because there will be no animal-related clothing material left, including silk made by silkworms or pashmina cloth. Bees are tiny flying animals, but the work they do is so much bigger than themselves. They are so important in the environment as they are the best and largest agents for pollination which is a process that determines our time on the blue planet. These are the times I get reminded of Elon Musk's Mars colonization project, where Mars will be suitable for human existence and of course, and there would not be any other animals. Still, their absence will be nullified by the proper implementation of technology. 
Have you ever thought about what would happen to the sea, a world we have not yet explored thoroughly? It is said that almost 70% of the oxygen is produced by the phytoplanktons in the ocean and is at least 100 years, and there has been a 40% decline in the phytoplankton population. People take it so lightly as they do not understand that if the ocean dies, it means we die too. There is no way that we can survive on a planet without phytoplankton. The ecological law of interdependent states that our survival is dependent upon other species, we're not standing alone here. And this is something each and every one of us should understand. It is to be of high priority to put an end to this exploitation of flora and fauna within the oceanic ecosystem. Overfishing, illegal fishing, plastics in the ocean, chemical, sonic pollution, radiation, acidification, climate change are some of the main factors contributing to a massive diminishment of biodiversity in the sea. A world comprising only humans is not guaranteed to be filled with humanity, and it is our responsibility to help other species to survive as the place does not belong to us alone. Well, now is the time to take the necessary actions and spread awareness and make people understand that the seriousness of the situation so that they would listen better and work together to make this place better for our fellow animal species. Every help done to them will be converted by nature and presented to us in one way or another. Because if not, the Earth won't be a planet with the luxury of life as its children will die. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. So are you guys amazed by the possibilities of the future? Come on you guys, how can you not be? Also, what was your favorite part of this video? Let us know your views and opinions in the comments below. Do you like watching this type of content? Then what are you waiting for? Hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll keep you entertained with more cool videos. Also, yes, don't forget to press the bell icon. We'll see you all again in another video. Until then, bye folks.